Hi, I'm the Flippin' Math Teacher, and we're going to take a look at this new camera that I just ordered and see what I think about it. Can you see that okay? Right there. Okay. It says Zohulu, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it looked pretty cool. I got it on Amazon. No, I was not paid for this. Um, I wish I was, but I was not. It was, I don't know, 200 and some odd dollars. That's weird. The first thing I see is that someone has redacted all of the names for contacting. Please join our Facebook group and blah, blah, blah. So, huh. That's really odd. Uh, it's a, supposed to be a Wi-Fi camera. That's what I'm excited about is that I'll be able to uh, stream stuff straight on my channel and because I'm not a big fan of editing uh, so I'll just be able to stream whatever I want to stream and that'll be that and first thing I see is a lens oh well that's that's an interesting first so this is an extra lens that I guess I gotta get my glasses on for this now. Dead gummit. There's a pair. Um, so my next review should be on these. I, I buy my glasses strictly from the Dollar Tree, a dollar a piece. I buy like 10 pairs at a time. It's pretty awesome to just be able to have glasses laying all over the house. My wife doesn't like it, but she does like it when I can see. Okay, on the inside there it says 72 millimeter inside the, the other case. So this is a wide angle lens. That's cool. Huh, interesting. I, I don't I don't remember seeing that on the ad at all. But just the way it looks may have been part part of what attracted me to it with that on it. So this is the camera, DVC digital video camera, Zohulu 4K, infrared night vision. This says that the night vision on it, and I'm going to try it out, is full color. So I'm interested to see how that looks also. That may be a little infrared light to give it the color that it needs. Um, it came with two batteries if I'm not mistaken. I'm not seeing exactly how oh and this other I skipped right over it there was a USB stick in here not really sure what the purpose of that was either where'd it go put the stuff down on other stuff there we go oh it's an SD uh, reader so that fits a little a micro SD card goes in there um, this is SD and micro SD, but, but it also says 512 gigs. I don't know. Let's open this real quick because now I'm curious. Uh oh, there's my wife. All right, I got to pause this real quick and I'll come right okay. back. Let's get back to where we were. Um, oh, I was looking at this. So far, it, it does have a little slot on the side for um, SD card and a micro SD card, so that'll be interesting. It says 512 gig also, so it's apparently it's a half, it, 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 as well as being an adapter, it's a half a gig of storage, 512 gig. So I don't know, we'll have to see about that. Uh, oh, I was looking at the camera. So the camera, 24 megapixel. Uh, I don't know, I haven't seen a booklet for it yet, so I don't know what. Of course, it's got a, a mounting hole for a uh, tripod, which is expected. I'm going to put this on here because that's kind of what 
I remember seeing, oh, there's a macro. So this is two, two separate lenses on here. Huh, that's interesting also. So it's a macro and a telephoto. Only one of these will screw on here. I'm surprised that one that anything screws on there though, so that's so that makes it look pretty cool. That's that's one of the big reasons that I decided to buy this is because of the the coolness factor of how it looked. Yeah, okay. Um yeah, that's so got this microphone that mounts to the top with a cord. I, I've, I've seen cameras like this in the past and I think they're kind of silly. If they're going to take the time to put a microphone mount there, they should take the time inside the camera to actually make this be the plug and not this. Because this is silly. But, man, yeah, whatever. It's it is what it is. Uh, hmm. So it's got controls on the top from minus 10 to plus 20 and 0. And on and off switch. I guess that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with these. Oh, there we go. So that screws in and should mount to that. I don't know. Oh, it just comes out. There we go. That piece comes out of there. This little plastic piece. And then this goes in. And now we have a microphone mounted to here. This is going to come around into the mic door that's back here. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of these cords like that. If, if they're going to take the time to do the, I, I just don't understand why they don't just make that that top mount there. I know it's made for lights, but they could just as easily make it for this instead or as well um, this carrying strap more accessories oh uh, this is a lens housing huh. all right so this is going to mount back in there somehow Maybe to the lens. I don't know yet. I want to get everything out of the box. <laughs> USB cords. So HDMI cable. Another lens cover. battery charger it's a 110 I believe I saw a European mount in the, the actual there's one battery MP120 there's a remote control USB uh, mini, is that what they used to call them? Mini USB before the micro. And then this handle guy here. So this thing mounts to the actual tripod mount on the bottom. And let's try this 
this out and see what we got going on here. I've seen these cameras with lights mounted to this handle and such. seen the battery compartment which I haven't really been looking there's the SD port okay so that's where the, the handle goes um, not really sure what all I would do with this yet and it's kind of a cool little feature to have I guess for carrying it. Um, I'm going to take this back off though because I want to see inside. So it's supposed to come with a 32-bit gig card. I haven't seen that yet. And I only see one battery here which means it's got to have a battery in it already. battery box I'm guessing there it is yeah. so there's a battery there and yeah. battery for Fuji NP120 2000 milliamp hours so this is four four hours. Hours. Uh, okay. so this one's mini so hmm. this cord there's will fit the in there so none of this is changeable with that handle on it yeah I'm gonna Maybe look through the owner's manual. I did see it as well. There's, oh, there's a, a really thick owner's manual that goes with it. It's a push. So we'll we'll check all that out. Card, just like and, most um, SD cards are. Go from there. And 32 gigs. Kingston. Kingston SD. 32 gigs. Oop. And went that. Alright. Luckily. It's not. Luckily it's not my. Samsung S9 that is sitting over there with no glass in it. Oh. Alright, so let's see, it's got a switch. Make sure that switch is up if you do anything with this. Because if you uh, flip that down, you will not be able to record anything that locks your recording. Or it keeps you from being able to put anything else on it. And that's that. So, <clears throat> I guess my next video will be just how much, if I like it at all. Uh, so far, I don't like this. Hmm. It's got a little USB on the back there in this plug here. That's a micro, though. That's micro. This is mini, so this is not for that. And this is mini, so that's not for that. This is an interesting cord though. It's got a mini USB there and on the back side it's got a it's a male mini USB there and then back here there's a female USB and a microphone jack. Not sure what's going on there either. So I wanna sort all of this out. So I I opened up this back door. This on the back panel here says DC in, USB, and mic in, and then on the bottom it says HD. So, this top port here, it's a mini port, is apparently microphone power, uh, DC power. So, I should be able to plug that cord straight into here to power it up. It came with the battery in it, but the battery's dead. So that doesn't make any sense to me. When I tried to power it on, it would not power on. I don't know why they would send 
something out with a battery installed, pre-installed with the battery not having juice in it. So I just have to assume that neither one of these are charged, so I'll have to charge them up for several hours, I'm sure, before I can use it. And there's only one charger, so I might try plugging in the camera and see if it'll charge as well. But I can definitely power the camera up from there. So let's see what it, what we can do with it. I guess I can just do that right now. Here's my batteries for my other camera. I guess you can see the mess in the background. I haven't cleaned up from dinner yet. And that was last night. Now it's morning and I'm still working on my first cup of morning gel. Okay. So. <laughs> Here's the user manual for the microphone also, which is cool. Camera holder user manual. Um, I think that's kind of a given that this page is in German, but I can read IKEA and it's folded up. You unfold it, unfold it again, and then you use it for the camera. It's exactly like I just did. It wasn't rocket science to figure that out. And I'm not that I'm a rocket scientist, I'm only a middle school math teacher, but yeah, even we can figure stuff out, huh? All right, so let's see. And I mean, this camera, the, the microphone is plenty strong enough to use it as the same amount as that. I don't know that I would use it as often because this is actually made to sit but in a pinch, you could always do that. Um, if it was a matter of either I grab it like this or it's fallen in the ocean, I'm gonna grab it like this. Um, let's see. So this cover, excuse me, this cover goes to the actual camera itself. This lens cover does, which is cool. Uh, probably will never use it. The, the camera that I'm using now has never had a lens cover on it. It, it didn't come with one. It's old. It's JVC Evrio. Evrio? Yeah, JVC Evrio. I've had it for years and years and years. Uh. <laughs> so there's two different options that you have for a lens housing. This one. Oh, yeah, this goes into there, so it's one option. Well, two options. You can either use it like this or, or it snaps on, doesn't it? Nope, it screws on. My lighting in here today is not the best in the world. I guess I could do this. See if that helps him. Yeah, I mean, they're both threaded, but. Hi, good morning, Boca. You ready to go outside? Mm -hmm. In case the world is not raining anymore. No, it's not. The rain's all gone. The rain's all gone. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? At 6 o'clock this morning, it was raining. She did not want to go out. Not really sure what all this stuff is. I'm not exactly a camera kind of guy. I don't know a whole lot about cameras. Um, this is a little screwy thing that's screwed in there and it comes out. So I'm guessing you can screw this to whatever position you want it to be on, on the camera and then bring this out to lock it into place. Let's try it real quick and see. So it's not gonna go onto this, of course. 
it will not fit on this telephoto super wide angle lens. Super wide angle. And yeah, I guess that's the same size. So Alright, see this this is already hanging up in here. So that's what I don't like about these people with their uh, cords coming off of this. There. It, it, it's just silly. Silly, silly, silly. Alright, so the cord's going to be in the way. I may have to take the mic off to even put this on. And as I suspected, yeah, you can run this on down. See, it, it doesn't stop exactly where you want it to, so back it off a little bit and then tighten this back down onto the camera so you can have that nice and square for a nice frame shot. And there you go. So that's how that works. Can't use them both at the same time though, I'm pretty sure. No. So this is a macro and a super wide angle. So this is two lenses in one here, which is pretty cool, but one won't fit without the other. So, yeah. so it's going to zoom it in and then make it, I'm sure it'll give it a good fisheye effect. Yeah, we'll see. I'll try that out in a little while. Well, I say a little while, it's going to be quite a while because I still have to charge these batteries and I haven't looked at the owner's manual, but they usually say charge for 20 hours or 24 hours or some crazy stuff like that. So I don't know. Let, we'll see if the, uh, if the battery will charge in the camera. If it does, then I can turn the camera on while it's charging and not destroy, uh, the potential life of the battery. Well, that's cool. It's marked plus and minus. So. And I did not see the little uh, European charger that that was in the pictures. I haven't seen that, so I was kind of hoping for that because I'm going on a cruise. In two weeks, we're going on a cruise to uh, around Jamaica and just a big long eight day cruise, eight days, seven nights, um, Jamaica and uh, all the way around to Cozumel and then back up to its MSC cruise line. We're going to go back to their island. Uh, they have a private island in the Bahamas and then the, we'll, our last day will be there and then we'll come home. So I want to bring this camera on that trip and hopefully get some good fun shots to share. So this one, maybe that's why. Oh, so I'm starting to understand this cord now. This cord, I think I should be able to plug into the back here. Yes. Alright, so that cord plugs in there. This will plug into the microphone jack. And this will plug into my charger. So I can have the microphone on and charge at the same time. It does not, however, say what to use here. I have to assume a regular uh, car charger or phone charger the 5 volt charger will work for this. I don't know why else it would be hooked up, set up like this. And I mean, that's the only voltage that you're going to find on anything now, even with computers. Um, and I have one of those in here.
No, I don't. I have one here. This one says Roku on it. Guess what it came from? So I should have power now. Yes, I see lights blinking. Oh, and the power up. All right, so there's a setup option, slideshow, and a Wi-Fi. Um, my Wi-Fi is not hooked up, of course, because I just it's the first power I've ever seen out of this thing. Um, so I guess we could hook it up. Let's do setup. Hey, it's a touch screen. That's one thing that you don't have. This camera does not have a touch screen. This one does. Back up. Oh, so that's hertz. That's for charging. We're on 60 hertz in America. American power is 60 hertz. European's 50. So I don't know why that would make a difference. Like I have to assume that that's for charging or our power consumption here. I, it seems odd that it would have that option. Maybe that's the frame rate because uh, yeah, I'll change it. It defaulted to 50, so I'm going to change it back to 50. Um, American Power, the, the power actually does run on 60 hertz, but this has got to be the frame rate because... It's 12 volt DC or a 5 volt DC current coming out of this, so it shouldn't matter. There's no, there's no uh, hertz in here. It's, uh, it's not an oscillating signal um, like American, like 110 power is. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's got to be a frame rate. All right, so let's back out of here. Set the date. Oh, the date's already set. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Yeah. Date's right. Um, <clears throat> so it's... It's in military time. not the most sensitive touch screen in the world and hopefully I'll be able to change this because I'm not a big fan of using military time but yeah I mean I know how to read it so So time is set, format, yeah, why not, I'm going to let this unit format the SD card that's in it, that should be done, where are my default settings, uh, no, because I just changed something, so I guess I should have it so you can see it as well. This is the stuff that I've gone through for so far. It's in English already because I can read it. So I'm, I'm not going to change that. Auto offsetting. I can either leave it on no auto offsetting or up to 10 minutes, 3, 5, and 10 minutes. I'm going to leave it on none for now just because I wanted to play with it and let it charge. And I'm going to leave it running while it's charging. Why not? Um, okay, so that's just the back button. So that's the setup. Slideshow Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi on. And I, I don't know if it's going to let me log into my YouTube account or anything like that. Um, I 
the touch screen is not very sensitive at all. So that's not hmm. The default password on it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't get the menu button to work. So right now it's like my screen is locked up. I can't get anything to do anything. There's a menu button here as well. See what it's doing there? Display. So none of these buttons are working. Oh, there's a light. Oh, so that's just a regular white light on the front of the lens there. That's kind of interesting. There's another one down here. I have to assume that's an infrared light. Let's see if you can see that. It's there. Um. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like I may have to open up the owner's manual and see what's going on here because this is not working at all right now. This touch screen isn't. This does flip, so that's nice. And when it flips, yeah, see, it's just like, once it gets beyond that point right there, it should be just flip the screen over, and it doesn't until it's almost locked into place. And I think that's silly because it's just silly. It should the screen should be reading. It should know that when you flip it up like that, you're gonna want to look from the other side. At least to there. I mean, if you can't see it from back here, yeah. But that's how this camera is too. That so it's just a. I, don't know, I guess that's how they do cheap stuff. So, I mean, I do like the color on the screen. And the screen itself is, it's bigger than this guy, than that. Hmm. So it's just completely stuck in this. Oh, okay, so that flipped it back. Oh, oh, wait a minute. So this this switch does something. So that turns that screen on to there. Oh, now the menu works. Well, that's weird. Yeah, it was just locked up. All right, so face detect, anti-shake, capture mode, resolution, burst mode. <sighs> Sharpness, ISO. Oh, that's cool. So I can adjust the metering and the ISO on it. That's interesting. My wife will like that. She knows a lot more about cameras than I do. Um, so it'll take burst mode pictures. So it'll not only take video, but it takes actual uh, pictures as well. Um, still, I'm not seeing the Wi Fi. Now the menu works, but the Wi-Fi does not. So I'm going to flip this back over to set. Oh, so this is the setting switch. In the middle, I guess, is camera mode. So, yep, now it's, now it's recording. And I can take pictures while it's going, I guess. Not really sure about that. 
All right. Um, so this is how I like to learn about stuff. That's why I've avoided the owner's manual. I'd really like to figure stuff out myself because with electronics, you know, um, so let's have a quick talk about this for the ladies. And so when I say for the ladies, what I mean is for the ladies who make fun of their husbands for not reading the owner's manual. That's all I mean by that. Um, my wife teases me about it all the time. Personally, <clears throat> when I get new electronics or pretty much anything, take these off, um, I like to go through all the features myself because that's how you learn. That's coming from a teacher, that's how you learn. When, when you have something like this and you want to learn about it, you can read through the owner's manual all you want. That's just like math. You can, you can read all the math you want, but until you actually, until you start doing the math, you're not going to learn it. That's why there's practice problems. So same thing with this. You can read the owner's manual all day long, but if you figure it out on your own, you're going to learn it a lot better. You're going to know the, the piece of equipment that you're using much better. And I, I'm not saying that owner's manuals are bad because I have already talked about, I, if I can't figure this out, I'm going to go back to the owner's manual and take a look at it and see what's going on. All right, so a couple more things uh, to finish this video out. Um, so first of all, the camera. I mean, it seems overall like a decent camera. Uh, I did take the battery out and it had a little piece of tape over the connection terminals. So the battery did have a slight amount of juice in it. It's plugged in right now and charging. It was at one bar. Um, so it didn't have much, but it did have a little. Um, I, I mean, I, if I had to rate it in a five star system, I wouldn't go over two stars, mainly because of the features that it doesn't have. Well, first of all, the screen stopped working halfway through, you know, the my initial, the, the first time I really touched it. Um, the Wi-Fi is weird. It's wonky. Um, this does not have a half a terabyte. I said uh, gigabyte earlier. It does not have a half a terabyte of memory on it like it implies on here, um, 512 gig, it does not have any memory at all on it. It is only a card adapter. It's got these two little side adapters, the SD and the micro SD. So um, the, uh, the European port uh, adapter for the, the charger is non-existent. Uh, there's so many things that I don't see good with it, so I wouldn't go over two stars. Um, and that's without even using it as a camera. Um, I mean, it, if it weren't for the fact that it's a 4K camera uh, with the two batteries, I wouldn't even give it that. I would give it one star. But since it is a camera, I mean, it's a hundred dollar camera in a hundred uh, in a. $250 case to me. Uh, I just, no, it's going back. Like I said, I'll play with it for a few more days and if I change my mind about, excuse me, about anything, I will um, put an update somewhere and let you know, but I just don't see, I don't see the money here. I do not see it. Um, there's too many things that are wonky about it and I'm not a big fan of wonky. But anyways, that is my full review, and I hope you like it.